you're yet to get started with PebblePad or don't have a workbook yet, you might want to check out videos 1 and 2 first. In PebblePad you can create lots of things, not just workbooks. In this video we're going to look at creating a blog. Many courses here in Plymouth require that you link a blog to a workbook, as this is a simple way of keeping everything together, and that is what we're going to look at in this video. To begin, find and open your workbook in your assets. A blog keeping track of activities and reflections is a good example of what you might be asked to create and attach to your workbook. There is usually a place for you to attach the blog, as you can see I have here. There are two options, add a blog or add existing. If you've already created a blog, you can click on add existing and then find it in your asset store. In this case, I'm yet to create one, so I'm going to press add a blog. Now my new blog is loaded up, I'm able to customise it by giving it a name, subtitle and a description. I can also change the header image easily by pressing the replace image button on the right hand side. At this point, don't forget to press save. Finally, if we press the preview button, we can see how the workbook looks without the editing buttons on it. Pressing the edit asset button allows us to continue working on our blog. Now we can look to create a blog post by pressing the add to your blog button. Three options appear, allowing us to add a post, use a template, or add an existing asset. Let's go with add a post to get started. We are now presented with our individual blog post page. Here we can add a title, change the header image, and add additional content, a bit like when adding a page. You might like to have a look at our adding a page video, video 3, which shows how to add and edit content in more detail. Once I've added a little content, I can press save, and then use the back to blog button to see my new post has been added. There is also a filter, which will allow you to sort through larger numbers of posts once your blog is established. To view the full blog post, click on its title to open it. I'll now add a different type of blog post. Adding an existing asset lets me pick from any number of items I have in my asset store. An example of when you might wish to use this could be if you did a quick video on your camera phone reflecting on your activities that week, rather than typing it. Here for example, I'm just going to add a photograph that I have in my assets. One of the great things about PebblePad is the templates it has pre-built, that you can use to record activities and use for reflection. You can use these to help structure your blog posts if you want. There are lots of different types, so take the time to have a look through them in your own time. For this example, I'm going to use the activity template. I'm going to discuss a presentation I did. As I scroll down the page, you can see there are lots of structured fields that can help me pick apart what I did and reflect on what I learned. When I'm done, I'm going to press save. If I press the link at the top left, I'm taken back to my blog. If I click the link back to workbook, I can see my blog is embedded in the workbook. I can return to it and edit it whenever I want. At the top is a blue notification bar, which allows you to replace, remove or edit the page if you need to. Finally, if we press the preview button, we can see how the workbook looks without the editing buttons on it. 